In World War II, they fought the Germans by fooling them with special effects, just like they do in the movies. Today, the surviving members of the Ghost Army got their happy ending, a congressional gold medal to honor them and their fellow cast members. WFXR's Jesse Tenor gives us a closer look inside the ceremony. The Ghost Army's mission was top secret, so many haven't talked so publicly about their experience until today. 100-year-old <laughs> Bernie Bluestein and his World War II comrades were known as the Ghost Army. Hundreds of soldiers who fooled the Germans with inflatable tanks, costume uniforms, and acting. Their top secret fake military movements likely saved tens of thousands of Americans. Let the world know that we did exist. Through the perilous fight. On Thursday, Congress pulled out all the stops for these veterans. I'm very proud and happy to be here. Bestowing them with the highest civilian honor lawmakers can give the Congressional Gold Medal. Soldiers who made a huge contribution to winning World War II in Europe without hardly ever firing a gun. Reverend Donald Fox's father is one of the seven known surviving members of the Ghost Army. They say they would not be here today without the work of Rick Beyer, who first brought attention to their mission when the government declassified it. It has been well worth the wait, right? Beyer thanked the lawmakers who helped make the Congressional Gold Medal happen, including New Hampshire Congresswoman Annie Custer, who introduced the bill. These secret soldiers were innovators, and they played a decisive role in turning the tide and winning the war. And now, this crowd wants to make sure they will never be forgotten. Thank you. Thank you. And President Biden signed the bill back in 2022 to make the day possible. In Washington, I'm Jesse Chenor.